They won't eat out of my hand though, they like Gary. Hey, just dropped it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. And if you didn't hear our brand new background music, <laughs> it's a little motorcycle, a 50cc Yamaha, and it's going to be going probably all the time, if I had to guess. What do you think? Pretty much. <laughs> I was going to say, the boys would welcome you back to the channel, but one's on his motorcycle and one's on his four-wheeler, so, four so you just got us. Yeah, we'll show you real quick. Ma got... Mazzy is uh, inside reading and coloring and things like that. So we got Ranger coming down the driveway as fast as possible. Don't say that, people will believe you. No, he's not going that fast, but as fast as his dad will let him. And you've got Ransom. Getting more brave on this every single day. So one thing that Santa forgot to bring was unleaded gasoline. I think we're going to have a uh, gas bill that's going to go through the roof, um, not from the cold weather, but from the warm weather and the boys riding their bikes. But we're going to also have somebody else riding today. Mazzy has been wanting to ride Lulu, and some of you have been asking, what about Lulu? Are we riding Lulu? Well, cold weather, we don't do a lot of riding. Um, it's Extracurricular not... activities, we got archery, we got basketball, we got church stuff, so we just have to do what we can with what time allows. So, But today's the day we're going to get Lulu saddled up. I also have a cousin that has a little girl that's how old do you think? Uh, she's three or four. Yeah, so they, they have several kids. They're going to come over and um, ride Lulu as well. And we might show them a little bit. They watch the channel off and on, so they might like to see themselves uh, riding here at Walker Farm. Yeah, but the youngest one's been wanting to ride a horse, so we told them to come on. They also want to see the Highland cattle, so we told them to come on over. It's probably one of the last real warm days for a while, so we're going to take advantage of that. And I'm about ready to leave Cassie because Christmas is over. I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> I told her it was her last chance to get me what I wanted, so I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm out. Just kidding. Now, I am going to be leaving for two or three days. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll let you know exactly why I'm going to be gone. But I feel like Cassie can handle it. You got this? I think I got it. Uh, if not, I'm sure it'll make for a good video. When you get back, I think I'm just going to migrate in the... Migrate? Hibernate in the room for a few days and eat chocolate and jerky and ice cream. I think she's got this. If you guys <laughs> think Cassie's got this, give us a big thumbs up down in the comments because I know she's got it. I put uh, all kinds of faith in her, and I'll let you know, though, why I have to leave. That's Lulu's. Boys, Alvin Alford. Cassie's the horse whisperer. I don't know about that. And me? I'm the alpaca whisperer. Look at these guys over here. I believe that. 
Huh? I believe that'll now attack us. Alvin, Alfred, what are you boys up to? Huh? They got junk all on them. You guys been rolling around in the dirt. Why you been rolling around, Alf? Alfred, why you been rolling around so much, buddy? Huh? Why you been running around? What? What? You like your neck scratch, don't you, buddy? Yeah. They're good boys. They're starting to get their winter coats on. They'll be feeling better come cold weather. All right, you ready to ride, girl? You got some kiddos waiting on you. Joe, good on your foot? <laughs> yeah. Joe. Wow. Oh, Joe. Sue, you saw the camera was on and you thought it was time to come? Hey, baby. All right, Ransom. Tell them us about that motorcycle. Do you like it or do you want to take it back? I like it. Daddy can sell it. I can get my money back. You want me to sell it? No. Nope. Huh? Oh. Was, that, was that the best Christmas present you ever got? Yeah. It was? How fast have you gone on it? Tell everyone. Maybe... Look up here when you talk. Maybe down here like 40 miles per hour and up here like 100 miles per Whoa! hour. Whoa! You went 100 miles an hour up the hill and 40 miles an hour down the hill? Don't tell Mama. She'll take it away. Hey, that's too fast, man. You better slow it down. Got that? Mama, he said he went 100 miles an hour. Boy, what do you think about that? Go and go. Get the paddle, I guess. <gasps> hey, better slow it down, okay? All right. JoJo says, slow down, please. I don't want you hurt. You give him a belly rub? Right here. He likes it right here. Right here, yeah. Jojo loves belly rubs. Where's the belly? Where's the belly? Ah, no, uh, you're getting out my toes and I get out. You're really letting that have that board have it, aren't you, Sue? Really letting that board have it. You want to find out if a pony's safe for kids? Just swing a rope around its head and see what they do. She don't even care. She just looks for some grass. Mm-hmm. I guess Ranger or Ransom could rope off her if he wanted to. I'm not hitting her with it. I'm just seeing what she does if something does tap her on the rear end or what she, I, I think know it's, she's safe, I wouldn't have bought her if she wasn't. She's eats more grass, that's what she does. Good brush and she's dusty. Ransom, what would you rather ride, a motorcycle or a pony? Motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> the pony can't win today.
do a trick first. Mazzy? Alright, Mazzy, you go first. Oh, good job, Mazzy. Alright, Evie, you got a trick? Whoa! Alright, Ranger? Did you go first? I don't know. No tricks at all? How about a. How about see how high you can jump? You want to show us how high you can jump? No tricks at all? No. All right. So we had a great time with my cousins. Um, that was my cousin Suzanne and Joel and their kids that came over to visit, uh, ride the pony and just have all kinds of fun. The kids had a blast, but now it's time to get the hay put out. So I'm gonna be leaving for about three days. And anytime you're gone for that long, uh, the cows still have to be fed. So to so plan ahead a little bit and Cassie not having to start the tractor up and do all that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and put out enough hay to the cows, just set them out a couple of bells and then go ahead and give a full bell to the Highland cattle so everybody's covered on hay while we're gone. So come along, I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get back in the house and let you know where I'm going.
So I got all the animals taken care of. You guys saw me put out the bell of hay to the um, Highland cows. And let me tell you what, they destroyed that bell of hay. They were cracking me up how they were trying to uh, go through it. The people we got them from, they had a bell of hay and they set it on its side like that. So I thought I'd try it, see if they liked it. We'll see. I also got two bells of hay put out to the other cows, actually two and a half and a half a bell to the goats. So everybody has plenty of hay while I am going to be gone for a few days. I almost forgot to tell you where I'm going to be gone to. So our church has an opportunity to go out and help another Free Will Baptist Church out in Kentucky. So we've been in contact with them. And as you guys know, the tornadoes were just really, really bad. Hey, Sue. Sue's down, down here rubbing on me. The tornadoes were really bad um, out in Kentucky and different parts of the state. So a team of um, people from our church, about 15 people, are... Um, Loading up, we're heading out there for, um, it's about a four day trip total, a couple days of driving and two solid days of working out there, but we're going to be doing cleanup work. We don't know exactly what we'll be doing, but we're all bringing um, some tools. Uh, me, I'm bringing a chainsaw, so I got a, a nice sharp chain on there. I've got gasoline, oil, I've got gloves, and all the stuff that I'm going to need as far as working goes. We may be working in the rain, so I actually have some new rain gear I'm going to be using if, if need be. But we have the opportunity to help some people in need and to show um, the love of Christ to our neighbors and friends in need out there. Um, anytime a tornado comes through, especially one of that magnitude that stays on the ground that long, it does all kinds of damage. Um, there are families that were affected by this. Some of them, their homes destroyed. They need to restart the building process or the rebuilding process. Some of them just have trees down. But we're going to go out there and try to be the hands and feet of Jesus to these people that are in need right now. So say a prayer for Cassie as she's going to be home and um, for safe travels for us. It may actually be, uh, we may be home by the time you watch this video. So we are hoping and praying for a good trip out there. Um, be able to do some good work while we're there and hurry back because I know I'm going to miss Cassie and the kids, but we're going to go out there and do the best work we can. So Jojo, are you going to keep a, an eye on the place while I'm gone, buddy? Hmm? I know you will. Sue, you going to be watching out for all the rodents? All right. Well, I've already got all the kids in bed. I came out here to make sure and get everything packed up before I go tomorrow. But I want to thank you guys so much for following along as we had our family over. Um, the kids just love playing um, with their cousins. They don't get to see them that often, so it was really nice to get to hang out and enjoy the day, even though it was windy and a little bit um, too windy probably for some audio, so you might have got a lot of music today. But thank you guys so much for following along. We hope that you have a great week. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Can you say bye, Jojo? All right. Jojo says bye. Sue, can you say bye? Oh, you're sleepy. I think that was a yawn. Bye, Sue. Bye, Joe.